Hello everybody and welcome to your next Allegro HD tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about doing single mouse presses within our program. So at the top here, um, just like we had the previous key press and the, the key press, we're going to be, we, we replace this with current mouse date and previous mouse date and they're going to serve the same functionality and we set them to null. Make sure you have the mouse um, installed or else this won't work. Everything here is the same from last tutorial so you don't have to worry about that. And so let's get into the while um, done loop. Now most likely you will have this um, like in functions like I did in the last tutorial. But I'm just showing you the functionality of how it works. So I said previ I say previous mouse state is equal to current mouse state. So what this is gonna do is that it's gonna set our previous um whatever we clicked the last update the last update and it's gonna store it in here. And then what we do is I say that if the left mouse button was pressed, then we set the current mouse state to one. If the right mouse button was pressed, we set the state to two. Else if no button was pressed, then we set the state to null. So then if um, the previous state is not equal to a mouse state, so if we click to a different button, then if it was a left button, then we increase option by one. And if it was the right button, if we press the right button, we decrease option by one. And the rest of the program is the exact same, except for make sure you put show mouse and the buffer so then you can actually see it. So, um... Let me run this to show you exactly how it works. So when I click the left, oh sorry, I hit when it does this. Okay, so when I click the when I click the left mouse button, it goes down, and when I click the right mouse button, it goes up, right? So um, just to quick thing so then every single time so what it'll do is this okay so say say the last loop I didn't press a button right so previous mouse state is going to be equal to null because current mouse state is equal to null so then say this loop I press the left mouse button right so current mouse state will be equal to one and remember previous mouse state is equal to null so then when it comes here It'll be like if previous mouse state is not equal to current mouse state. So this is null and this is equal to one, so it's not equal to it. So then it checks it checks um which key I press. If I if I press the left mouse button or if I press the right mouse button. If I press the right the left one then it increases the option and if I press the right mouse button it decreases the option. Now say I'm holding down the left mouse button. Say I'm Say I press the left mouse button and I'm holding it. So in, in this loop, previous mouse state will be equal to current mouse state. And the current mouse state is equal to 1. So uh, this will be equal to 1. And since I'm holding current mouse state, um, it will, current mouse state will stay equal to 1. So it will be like, is previous state not equal to current state? This statement is false because it actually, previous state is equal to current mouse state. So nothing will happen and the option won't change. So now keep on going until you actually release the key and then press it down again and then you can go throughout the rest of your program. So that's how you check for single um, mouse key presses. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye.